Douglas, we're here in Madrid for the Longinefio World Cup. First of all, what does the World Cup series mean to you as a rider? As a rider, it's a great uh, series of shows. Um, me, personally, I'm trying to get to the final this year. This is my first um, year really trying, and I've, I've been getting some shows from the uh, chef de keep. Uh, so I, I will do my best to get to Las Vegas next year. Now, of course, you're, you're still a very young man, but have you been European champion, young riders with Toledo, who you've still got here. Talk us about a little bit about your career the last three or four years, especially with Tallina. Okay, Talina I had for quite some years now. Uh, she was my first really um, good horse for the Grand Prix. Um, and my turning point, I would say, was the European goal in 2010. And then it's been going quite steady since. Um, I just reached now top 100 in the world, so I'm, I'm very happy at the moment. I think you are. And of course, it's with your parents being who they are, both your mother and father rode at championship level. It's probably no great surprise that you're a rider. Did you ride from a very early age? No, not really. Uh, seriously, I was um, okay. I was dragged around with the horse because my parents uh, was working with them. Uh, but I, I would would say I started really uh, working with them when I was around 13 years old. Um, and okay, I have a good breeding, uh, as we say, with my parents. So uh, uh, I've always had them quite close, and they've helped me a lot. And particularly your mother. Tell us about her training. Yes, my, my mother was uh, also my business partner with the stables. Um, she has trained me all my life. Um, she just uh, now also trained my girlfriend who won the European Championships this year. So I'm very happy to have her so close. Let's just talk about Casella, the horse on which you've already won some points in the Longin series. Tell us about him. Yes, this is also a horse uh, who I've ridden quite uh, for a long time now. Uh, we got him when he was three years old. Um, and he has, he has stepped forward quite a lot now this year, uh, doing some Nations Cups in St. Gallen and Falsterbo. Uh, and he has been going really good in the World Cup Series. He has done three now and been clear in the first round, all of them. So I'm, I'm, I think I'm in a good uh, mood and I will try my best tomorrow. Just talking about your career, which is, you know, you've really had a brilliant career and still so young. Your parents know how hard it is to be at the top of any sport, especially show jumping. What do they feel about your career? Do they talk to you? Do they say you're doing fantastic? How, what do they say? They try to, to keep me also on the ground, um, but okay, they, they help me a lot and they have a lot of experience. And uh, um, yeah, I'm very lucky to have them. Yeah. Well, we're at round six tomorrow of the 12 qualifying rounds. Las Vegas in April for the Longin FEI World Cup final. You want to be there, so what's the plan? Uh, okay, I did already Oslo and Helsinki. Um, I was a bit too slow in the jump-offs, I think. Uh, so I will try to get, uh, first of all, to the jump-off tomorrow. And then uh, we'll see uh, what happens. I have also the show in Mäkelen this year. And then uh, our chef, the Kip, will make the new plan for next year. Well, we keep our fingers crossed, as we say, for you tomorrow. And thank you very much for your honest. But good luck. Thank you very much.